Law enforcement, government and private sector partners are working together to encourage members of the public to be more vigilant against fraud, particularly about sharing their financial and personal information as criminals seek to capitalize on the COVID-19 pandemic. Criminals are, an, are experts at in impersonating people, organizations, and the police. They spend hours researching you for their scams, hoping you get your guard down for just a moment. Your bank or the police will never ask you to transfer money or move it to a safe account. Criminals are targeting people looking to buy medical supplies online, sending emails offering fake medical support, and scamming people who may be vulnerable or increasingly isolated at home. To help us understand this trend is Favor Femi Oyewole, Group Chief Information Security Officer at Access Bank. Hello, Favor. Hello, good afternoon. Good day, thank you for joining us on the news. Please, can you help us confirm the validity of the fraud claims since the COVID-19 pandemic started? Okay, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced organizations across the globe and individuals to embrace new practices such as social distancing and uh, remote working. While the world is uh, focused on the health and the economic threat posed by the COVID-19, Cyber criminals too have uh, capitalized on this around the world, undoubtedly, and capitalizing on the crisis. They, they, in the uh, to the extent of uh, and also feeding on the fear and uncertainty that uh, that is being promoted everywhere due to COVID-19 to spread phishing, uh, spear phishing attacks, and also uh, doing social engineering on people. And because the the the, the crave for people to get uh, information and to find out the updates uh, as of what is happening around the globe and various news. Many have been, have been, uh, have been baited and also fell victim of various uh, social engineering attacks. Now, what are the typical ways these unscrupulous individuals bait their victims? How do they get information to start with? Uh, well, uh, if I have to talk with regards to this, uh, the exposure to social media is huge more than ever before. And uh, quite a number of people have social uh, internet presence, if I have to say. Uh, many belongs to one uh, social media or the other. And what many people do not really understand is most of their personal details are, are not properly set on those social media. Many said their, uh, their, their privacy is not fully in place. It's not done with security in mind. So there is a, there is a way that all these uh, cyber uh, criminals, that they have a lot of personal details on some of these uh, social media. Many people will, will actually think that maybe some of these details are gotten from, uh, uh, from banks. It's not necessarily so because many free informations, too many information all over the place across the internet that people can easily uh, get hold of. And because uh, many people do not even set proper password, so it's easy for their account to be hijacked. And because they get some alerts, some statements in their bank, I mean, uh, in their emails, it's easy for people to de I mean, deep dive and get a lot of personal details that people have. So we are in a global age, we're in a digital age. People do really have to have this consciousness of uh, protecting their personal information and refusing to divert things that, you, I mean, people should not really you know, be aware of. Now, what are those obvious mistakes that you see the regular individuals make in which you would term as a security risk? Unknown to them that they are, you know, exposing themselves to individuals of this nature. Uh, I, I think also uh, there are many people also fall victim of. Uh, uh, I know a lot of banks uh, they do uh, we send communication awareness education try to educate our customers on different things. But you still see people fall victim either share their OTP and uh, their pin with another with a stranger or somebody hacks them something, maybe they're able to get old. So people are too trusting. You know, uh, when you trust just a stranger because somebody has mentioned one or two information about you, and you just believe that that, inform that person is either representing the bank or he knows so much about you. Uh, the uh, People just have to understand that the bank, and I mean, all banks have always been saying this, that they will not require you to give them their P number or to give any sensitive information. But people still feel victim, and some probably because 
uh, the, 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 the fall bait for these uh, freebies. You know, I, I recall that when, this, uh, when the federal government mentioned this issue of palliative, quickly the cyber criminal moved into the space again and started asking people to send their account number. And what people don't know is that some people, even cyber criminals having access to your account number, they could even use it to perpetrate fraud on them. So there's a lot of things that people really need to be uh, to understand. And then people should have the culture of taking out time to, uh, to read and understand most of a lot of the awareness, the tips that various banks are you know, releasing. Uh, I, mean, they are, I mean, I know that a lot of banks have also come to the point of even releasing some of this awareness, some of these talks in uh, various languages, so that many people can understand the message that is being passed across. Now, let's talk about the response time from banks. When an individual calls in to say, oh, all of, my, all of the money in my account has just been wiped out by an unknown person, how, why does it take the bank you know, time before this is rectified? Sometimes they seldom get their monies back. There, there is a regulation with regards to that, and I'm sure all banks are respecting that to ensure that uh, when customer complaints are, uh, are attended to within the timeline that has been agreed with the central bank. So, and I'm aware that uh, even at our end, a lot of uh, is being done to ensure that no customer uh, is uh, is left unattended to. So, I'm also aware that uh, we 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 believe we leave and exist for customers. So I, I believe strongly that uh, uh, serving and uh, attending to customer requests, needs, or, or complaint is one of the things, is the reason why we exist in the first system. So that really should not be an issue. But, I, but, you, but you also know that a customer at times, many, uh, uh, maybe when the requests come, maybe uh, they need to do some further work on it, but that they are not attended to, I, I, that is really strange. But I am so sure that uh, all banks believe in attending to their customer and in access bank for instance where i work um, uh, that is the reason one of the key things that we believed in and we ensure that customers are well attended to at all times all right thank you very much for joining us on the news thank you very much certainly